to Lincoln I've come to the medieval um, bishop's palace I think it's called opposite Lincoln Cathedral making the most of the good weather and I'm bloody glad I did it's a gorgeous site it's really nice it's views of the countryside everywhere apparently it used to be one of the most in important buildings in the country what the history is behind it I don't know I shall leave a link to the um, English heritage site below so you can read about this but it is well worth a visit all the gardens look absolutely stunning the, the ruins are fab you can get into an area which sort of kind of takes you a little bit underground where there's rooms and halls and stuff which is really nice it's um it's free for English heritage members obviously and I think nine pound if you're not something like that I think you buy a family ticket as well so I'm just going to finish my walk round and then I'm going to pop into the shop because there's quite a few little knickknacks and gifts and uh, memorabilia in there. I've got, to, I've got to buy something, got to, absolutely. I'd like to go into cathedral today as well, but um, I don't think I'm going to have time because where I'm parked, I've only got two hours and uh, I've almost done an hour and a half of that. Plus it's Saturday and it's getting quite busy now, so yeah. Anyway, come and have a look round here, you won't be disappointed. at some point today and I'm going to have a look around 
the internet to see what else is in Lincoln because from what I've seen just from a very brief walk around that there's a definitely a lot there to explore you know loads of oldie woldy shops and and old buildings there's a castle there um, obviously the cathedral which was right opposite where I was but like I said earlier I ran out of time and I'm gutted about that I wish I'd have done a little bit more research and uh, figured out where I was going to go you know where I was going to park have a little bit more time there but um, not to worry I've had a good time exploring that little uh, Bishop's Palace which um, I highly recommend but I definitely a hundred percent without a shadow of a doubt will return to Lincoln I don't know why I've never been there before I've driven through it enough times but I've never stopped off and had a nosy around so that's a trip I'm going to look forward to Right, so I just pulled over at a service station, got myself something to eat and a drink, and I've just been looking at the um, National Churches Trust website, and there's a church, St Michael and all the Angels, um, in a place called Harston, Harsden, in Leicestershire, and it's only about nine miles away from me, so I think I'm going to go and have a look at that. It's meant to be picturesque, set in the countryside, views are meant to be awesome, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can find that. church is definitely um, a well used church you can see that it's very well maintained and it is still a place of regular worship and other activities I'm assuming by the looks of it but it, it's a stunning place it's very nice in such an amazing area the the fields the, the views across the way there are absolutely stunning you'd be you could actually think that you're in the middle of nowhere you know in Wales or in the highlands of Scotland or something, you know, but you're not, you're, you're out near Grantham. And I'm just blown away by this one. To get to it was a little bit of a mission. Um, I'm in a little place called Harston, and the sat nav took me right to the, to the church, but it is up like a, a little, I think it's like a private road. But luckily one of the, um, one of the residents there allowed me to, park pretty much right in front of his house. I said I weren't going to be long and um, he was more in, more than a... <laughs> uh, he was more than accommodating to um, let me park there for a bit just while I have a nosy around this church. It is beautiful, it is. Although, although the wind's getting up, you could, I could quite happily sit here for a long period of time, sort of admiring the landscape, not just the church, but if you can see the scenery behind me, it's such a stunning little setting this is, in the middle of nowhere, you know, it is absolutely stunning, you know, this, this is the sort of place that I could just chill out for a good few hours, you know. Obviously I can't because I've left the car in an awkward position in front of someone's house. <laughs> it's a shame. But I like this one. And I think what's given it more, more atmospherics is the fact that autumn is upon us now and the trees are starting to turn and the colours and the conkers are dropping on the floor and everywhere's looking really pretty and really nice, you know. 
I'm really glad, I'm chuffed to bits that I managed to get here today and I'm, I'm happy as anything that the, the weather's held out, although it is windy, but I can handle that, you know, it's nice. I definitely feel relaxed in these sort of places. Call me strange if you wish. <laughs> a lot of people do, a lot of people think I'm weird, but I don't care. This is where I need to be. Not permanently, you know what I mean. Just on my travels, having a bit of a bit of an explore, coming to the churches and just just admiring them. And I put my name in the book, so that's another one ticked off the list. So at least my name in a book will live on for a few years when I'm uh, not around anymore. I tell you what, this little village is fucking stunning. Surrounded by countryside. I don't think it, I mean, I don't know if it is a village, it could be a hamlet, I don't know. But there's not a lot there. But there's some very cute little sandstone houses and obviously the church and it, it is just stunning. You know, if you wanted to come and be out the way from everyone else, this would be the place to be. Now just up the road, there is meant to be, or there is a castle and it is called Beaver Castle, even though it is spelt um, Belvoir, but it's pronounced Beaver, which is which is bizarre. But um, I'm, I think I'm, this is going to have to be another one of them ones that I come back to. I didn't realise there was so much in this area, you know, Grantham, Lincolnshire, top end of Cambridgeshire. I didn't realise there was so much to view. I mean, I come out today just having the intention of going up to going up to that uh, place in Lincoln. I'd never for one minute realised how much historical stuff and interesting stuff is out this way. So, like I said earlier on, I will plan a better trip next time to Lincoln. Maybe find a campsite. Maybe bring the van with me, rather, but rather than sleep in the in the tent and um, do a bit of exploring over a couple of days. But anyway, as for now, I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm um, going to trek back towards Stevenage and um, put my feet up for the rest of the day. I think maybe start editing this video. <laughs> um, Anyway, that's where we are. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's little uh, venture out. I know it's um, a little bit shorter than usual, but I think I'm going to scale down the length of the videos that I make now because I think people get bored. As do I. <laughs> so anyway, um, give me a like and a comment and the good stuff. And I'll catch you again soon.